So hello everybody. I'm gonna say that again just to make sure we're live. Hello everybody and welcome back to Ant Holofer. Today we are once again doing a live stream because yesterday just failed completely. And I think while we wait for everyone to join, I think we have to talk a little bit about yesterday. Because that's just how everything can go wrong in a matter of minutes. So hello to everyone who's live. It's nice to see that you're commenting because you weren't doing that yesterday. Oh wait, you were. So yeah, I think we need to talk a little bit about, about yesterday just to start the stream off and wait for people to start joining. So right now my, my YouTube is saying five people are watching and that is five people. So in case you weren't here yesterday, we were supposed to stream yesterday in the studio. But today I'm not in my studio, I am at my desk. Hello weird Finnish guy. And hello Hufflefluffer and Ants Only and everybody, Ants Atlanta, Pyros Ants, hello to everybody, Daniel, yeah, a new angel, a, a new an a angle, because yeah, this is a webcam and I hopefully that won't fail like yesterday. And hello to everybody. But let's just very quickly talk about yesterday, because yesterday was a very awkward 40 minute long stream of pure nothing. So yeah, I was sitting here in my chair, of course now I am standing up, uh, thanks, thanks for the angel, and, and, and I can't say angle, thanks to the angle being a little bit better today, and um, by the way, that's where my comments are, so that's why I'm looking a little bit down, instead of looking at the camera, maybe I could turn a little bit, nah, uh, let's just keep it this way. So yesterday I was about to stream when I looked over at my secondary screen and I could see that everything works and I was just about to stream and I pressed go live then waited for YouTube to confirm that I can press go live because you need to press it on the streaming software and on YouTube and it just failed with three minutes to go to the real stream should have started like right now we are three minutes before the stream should start and that was not good because then I started panicking and I kept trying to make things work and all my programs kept crashing and just everything just went bad and then finally the stream could start and I started the stream and I was talking like I'm talking right now actually yesterday we also had 10 people watching so thanks to everybody who's right here right now I'm just currently talking a little bit about yesterday but yeah I was standing over there and talking a little bit about how the stream should go and there just wasn't anybody commenting I had three different commentary screens up I only needed one of them, but I had three. So I had one here, one here, and one on my secondary screen just to, just to, yeah, look at my videos and look at the chat. And none of the three chats were working, so I was, well, I didn't know that they weren't working, but I was pretty sure that they weren't working because nobody was commenting. And I just kept saying to people, can you just make a test comment because I, I can't see you. And after around 20 minutes of me trying to keep my hopes up for the stream working, I contacted my girlfriend and figured out that everything was working. My chat just wasn't working. And finally after, I don't know, 24 minutes the stream started for real, because now I could see the chat and everything was working. Just to go around 10 minutes of talking a little bit about nothing, because I was still very awkward, because I had st stood, I was standing and talking to no one with 10 people actually listening listening and yeah it ended up uh, my camera ended up shutting off while i was streaming and therefore i just decided to delete the whole thing but now the clock is 17:59 here in denmark and i think we are about to start the stream for real so to everybody who's here thanks hey i can't pronounce that name instite and hello to mortex loud and once again, hello to Ants Atlanta. So today is pretty much the same stream as yesterday. I kind of wanted to take a stream where I just just went with the flow and just went with whatever people wanted. I do have five very bad notes that I can talk a little bit about. Uh, and hello to 
Ty Tygo? Ty that's not how you pronounce it, I'm sure of that. So yeah. Hello everybody, and welcome to today's stream. First of all, can I just get it clear that the sound is working good with the audio? Because I am not completely sure, because this microphone I'm using just keeps, keeps going up and down with how the loud it is. So, can anyone confirm that uh, it sounds okay? Um, and if not, I'm guessing that it does sound okay. And again, to all new people that are watching, thank you for the sound, is good. Um, Hello to everybody, we're now up to 12 people. Jot, if I'm if I'm looking over here, it is because that's where my chat is located at. But yeah, yesterday, uh, I can't remember his name, um, but we had a guy contacting me saying I should keep a new species. Uh, what is this stream about? Are you going to do it 50? Yeah, sorry, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go away from my plan because I'd like to just go with the flow. What's this stream about? Well, I just said it, Huffle Fluffer. It's about nothing and everything on the same time. I don't know, it's just about how the channel is going. And Anza Lanza, are you going to do a 500 subscriber giveaway? Yes, I am currently working on contacting some different Ant stores because in my 300 subscriber giveaway, I contacted Ant Davy and he was really nice to talk with. And I, yeah, he, he helped me with my giveaway and it was very nice. But the problem is just, he could only ship in Europe. So right now I have contacted Utah and Shop and asked if he wanted to help with another giveaway. He said yes. And I have also tried to contact Ant Keeping Depot. Not nothing, not a big giveaway, just five different winners because I like 500 subscribers being five different winners. So therefore I am trying to make contact a few people all around the world so shipping won't be a problem because yeah my europe european at my last giveaway it was only european people who could join and that was very sad so i'm trying to make this next giveaway be worldwide what's your dream species comes a question from ants and pets and i think my dream species for the longest time my dream species have been trap jaw ants just because they are so cool and so weird with their whole jaw closing at lightning fast speeds and all of that but i don't know around half a year ago or one year ago i noticed this amazing spe species called leafcut ants which of course if you were here yesterday i talked a little about about that but if you weren't let's talk about that because i am building a leaf cutter setup and i actually i'm actually done building that leaf cutter setup can I, I can send you some trap jaws when I get some. Thank you, Ansa Lanza. The problem is just with, I'm pretty sure that all trap jaw ants are gamma gates, right? They have that one queen and that, that whole weird system. Um, and I'm not quite sure if it's good sending them worldwide. I don't know, maybe we can discuss that later. And my living world ants, when you're not late, I'm just starting. And yeah, it's same. Just a little bit of commenting, I have an idea, you should speak about different species. Yeah, that is true, we can just, yeah. To go back to the leaf cutters, I have built a setup for them and I'll do a DIY video and I have actually done it. It's, I don't know, it's almost one month old that video, but I just didn't want to publish it like a Sunday video. And I just kind of kept pushing it to the point where I didn't have a video like this week where I'm live streaming. But I, it's coming out next Sunday, so next Sunday I'll re reveal my beautiful leaf cutter setup, which is made out of glass, where the glass is cracked. So yeah, that's the whole thing. <laughs> but I have a leaf cutter setup ready for use for my leaf cutter ants. And again, if you were here today, you know about this. But I'm trying to buy them off Ant Stavy because he sells them. But the way he gets them is he contacts his shipper. And the guy who ships them travels down to wherever they live, I can't remember. And down there they are considered a pest animal because they eat their plants and all of that. So therefore he kind of saves them and captures the queen and the colony, brings it home to UK to Anne Davy, and he kind of takes care of it for three weeks and makes sure that the queen is well and the colony is healthy. 
and then he sells them. The problem is just that the shipment guy can't leave UK and he can't enter the country where they are either due to COVID. So therefore, yeah, therefore the project is currently on hold. When will you publish the first video with the new equipment? Um, so yeah, I, I have two big la lamps up here, a little bit noisy touching them. And that's why I have this nice and light, nice and well light, lighted background and me. And yes, leaf cutters are awesome. That's why I want them <laughs> because I know that you can keep them. But yeah, I have my new lights and they will, the first video with them for real was actually last Sunday, I think, with my Campanotus Floridanus colony. But my next video won't have the lights because I've tried to just push my leaf cutter setup as far into the future as I could. But the lights will start from the start of 2021, where I'll have some new and brilliant lights to enlighten me whenever I stand over here. So, so when I stand over there, I'll be more lit up. And I have also bought an extension for my macro lens because I didn't think my macro lens was macro enough. And in the same video, I think it comes out on the 4th of January, I will publish my next, what's they called, European Fire Ant Colony, my Mimica Ruba Colony. And there I'll test run my macro lens a little bit. So in the future, we'll have better, of course, I have better audio with my microphone two, three months old, and my new lamps that are up here. And then I have an extension to my macro lens. So three big professional quality things will hopefully enter the channel within two or three weeks. Um, can't wait to watch it all. Uh, should I get a... Oh, that's a hard name. I don't know that species, Pyrosans. Should I get a... Ordentopanary transvery blah blah blah. I don't know what that is. I'm still fairly new to worldwide ant keeping. I am starting to know all my Danish ants and all the European ant species, but I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't really know that many worldwide ants yet, though I have a non-Danish ant species in my home. Um, some other questions. I saw you should get like a GoPro so you can show your ants while live streaming. Maybe I should have done that because I have a GoPro. I just, I got this um, GoPro Hero 7 around October and I have waited for a good day to use it. I used it for my Mimica Ruba colony to do a big one hour, one day time lapse. Uh, yeah, you made it, don't worry, Ants UK, the stream is hopefully going to be long and not like yesterday. But yeah, I got this GoPro because I saw some other YouTubers made some very nice videos with GoPros. The problem is just this lens right here is not macro at all. I know I didn't expect it to be macro, but just feel like whenever I'm trying to record Ants, this lens can't re really pick them up. I am pr very disappointed in the... Uh, and how it looks in my Mimica Ruba video. It's nice for a good time lapse. And I've also thought of putting it up like here and doing a secondary angle whenever I'm recording my in my studio, just because why not? It's pretty funny. But yeah, a <laughs> pretty big disappointment this lens right here. But maybe I should get a recording, a live stream next time with my ants. The problem is just right now I have two colonies that isn't in hibernation, one being the Mimica Ruba colony which this lens just can't pick up because can't get close enough. And my other colony being my Campanotus Floridanus. And I could actually have hooked this GoPro up so that I just didn't think of that. So, some comments. How many Formica species are there in Denmark? I think you meant uh, the weird Finnish guy. Well, we have the Formica Rufa. The big um, wood building, uh, I don't know, the big, the ant that lives in the woods and builds these very nice wood hills. And I actually caught five of those queens uh, before I knew they were parasite queens and therefore they all end up dying because they need a host colony to overtake. 
So therefore it never made the channel. I caught them in March or something very early and I was still becoming a better innkeeper at that point so I didn't really know what, what I was doing. But we also have Formica sanguini which is pretty much the same species just I don't know what the difference is to be honest. And then we have Formica fusca. Now I really want a Formica fusca colony. I don't know why. I've just it's one of the first I think it actually was the first non laces nitro colony I discovered in my life because when I was young I never really thought about orange ants and red ants I just saw black ants and when I started Ankeeper I know that I noticed that the black ants are laces niger and then I started when I really came into the hobby I saw these other black ants which weren't laces niger and therefore they are kind of a not really a dream species but a species that I've always wanted to keep but they didn't I, I didn't find any queens in the nuptial flight season. So that's the only three Formica species that I currently know <laughs> exist. I know there's a lot more, but I don't really know how many there are. What are we here? In Finland there's 21 or 22. Damn. Well, there's probably around pretty many in Denmark as well. I just don't know them all. Uh, my throat is a little weird. You don't use a GoPro for that. Nope. If you're talking, I don't know what you're talking about. If you're talking about, I don't know. Um, I could set up the GoPro. I actually have a shelf. I could just hook it on like this, maybe like this, and put a little extension. And then this could have recorded down to the colony, because they have they are living in a nest. And I should maybe do that for my next stream if I'm doing another stream. Though I'm not sure. What else do we have? Will you feature the first? And eater. No. <laughs> I know you're just kidding, Half Flopper. And to all of those who don't know who Half Flopper is, he is the main designer on my channel. He has designed my logo, my intro, my outro, everything around it. Except for my little pop-up sign that comes during the some of the videos. Maybe he should. Damn. Maybe he should do one of those. But he's actually my brother. Yeah. So yeah, he's my brother. And talking about doing an ant eater, that is one of the things I really get a lot of questions about. Whenever I am out in public and talks with my friends or my workmates or whatever, and we talk a little bit about ants, how weird I am keeping ants like all of you out there. Well, no, it's not weird, it's just a special hobby. They always taste, they always say, why don't you get an ant eater and just make a really exploding video because your ants are getting eaten by an ant eater. <laughs> I don't know why. For some reason that's what none ant people want. Like you, Hufflepuffer. Um, like not non ant keeping people. Uh, I don't know. Some... What Myrmica species should I get? Well, Pyro, I'm not quite sure where you're from. But if you are here from Europe, I think you should get a Myrmica ruby colony. Or a Myrmica... I can't remember the rest of the genies. They are all pretty similar. UK, okay, well, then you can get a Myrmica Rubo colony. I personally... I don't know, it's very weird because when I got them, I always wanted to put them in a natural formicarium, but I have for so long wanted to get them in a... like a setup where you can actually watch the colony, so I'm just... I can't wait for the colony to grow large enough for me to put a heat mat on the side and watch them move over to the heat mat. I did try this over a few weeks, but they never really found out that it was there. So hopefully next year when they grow, I can put a heat mat to the side of the glass and hopefully they can move over to the glass. But we'll just have to wait. Damn, my voice is uh, dying a little bit. Um, <laughs> Christmas present. I don't know what you mean about that. Yeah, Myrmica Redula. Yeah, sounds right. Uh, 16 Myrmica species in Finland. Damn. <laughs> Rodunglus, that. Yeah, that's what they call Myrmica Rodunglus. Yeah. What do we have? I want more camper videos and live feeding. Like live feeding, like live streaming or live feeding, like a live prey. You'll have to 
answer that before I can really answer the video. Um, which video of yours is your favorite? I don't know. Um, thanks for the question because that's actually a quite interesting question. I don't know what my favorite video is, but the video I think I've watched the most times in my YouTube career being like four or five times is definitely my five tips and tricks. A video that never really got any, I don't know, it was, I think it was actually the first video I made that got a dislike. So that's, uh, that's good, I guess. <laughs> But I don't know why, it's just a video that I liked making and when I rewatch it, I just get those flashbacks of when I made it and that's, I think that's my favorite video. It's nothing special, only about four minutes long, but I just like it. Um, how do you know they are Ruba? Uh, nah, I don't I don't know Ants UK, it may not be uh, Mimica Ruba. I, ha I actually got a very good macro shot with my extension macro lens on my macro. I have a camera with an extension times two and a macro lens. So the macro lens is extended times two. I think that's how you can say it correctly. And I got this really cool shot. Sadly, I didn't really know how to use the lighting and all that, but you can really see the... I don't know if it's Myrmica ruba colony that have that, but some of the Myrmica species has the little tag on the back and that's very defining of what species it is. It is. And my Myrmica ruba colony have that little tag on the, I don't know, behind them. So I, I, I don't know if that helps defining if it's a Myrmica ruba or not. Live stream and live feeding. Okay. Uh, I don't know, I think for now, the only colony I really have that's large enough for live feeding is my Mamikaruba colony. And they're not that into protein. I think I've overfed them a little bit, which is never a bad thing. So maybe I should stop feeding them for a little while and try. I want to get them, I think in the summertime when they are out of hibernation, I'll gift, I'll buy this bag of flies, of these small wingless flies and try to throw a little bit of them down. Maybe I can live stream that and I'll make a video of it at least. So, yeah, that's uh, that's definitely a video for the future. Maybe I should write that down, but I don't know. Uh, what do we have? Gotta go. Or oh, okay, sorry. I saw you gotta. I saw you said keep up the good work, and Oliver. But uh, I guess you are left. You have left now. But it's been a pleasure having you, Tygo. What do we have here? Do you take vaccinations? Do you take vac vacations? Oh, sorry, uh, to the United States. Well, since I moved out of my parents' house in 2017, I guess, 2016, that's how you say it correctly, I haven't been on any really vacations, except I went to Greece once. But back in 2007 and 2008, I went to the United States, I think it was those two years. Sadly, I can't really remember them, but in 2007, yeah, you, my brother can help me, he says 2008, but I think 2008 was the New York trip. We went one week to New York, if I remember correctly, but the year before that we had three weeks or something in the United States where we kind of moved around, but again, I'm too young, so I can't really remember it. I was seven years old at that time, I'm from 2000, so yeah. Some more comments. Um, you can identify by the spire near Apton. Yeah, well, they do have that little tag near their abdomen, um, so I don't know what colony that makes it. Uh, features you can do different up close. Yeah, I, I know there. It's very hard to. Yeah, my living world ants. I know. Can I, I can I call you Jake? I don't know. Oh, just forget about that because uh, yeah, um, I know you can look at them with you look at a macro lens and all that but they're just too fast i don't know if i'm trying to record them you really you really need to look from the side to see what species they are and not from the top and the problem is when they are from the side it's very hard to yeah to look at them and identify them what are your plans for your youtube channel grow <laughs> i don't know my plans right now i'm living in a, a quite a big apartment where I have my ant room with my studio inside. Maybe in the summer when our roommates move out, I'll get a totally a lot bigger ant room and just expand my ant colonies 
I think that's pretty much the future. I have all my dreams in my lighting, in my microphone and my macro lens with an extension to it. So I have pretty much all I've wanted for my YouTube channel. Um, so therefore I don't quite know if what my plans are except for just making better videos and just growing, I guess, <laughs> having fun uh, for the last for the last, I don't know, half a year since my Memica Rubicon came and I unboxed them, I've just been having so much fun with YouTube and it's just haven't felt, felt like four months, but it has been. Um, to do some more, I was just about to talk Danish. <laughs> um, some more stories. I bought fruit flies. They were supposed to be not able to fly and when I opened, uh, they just flew out of the cup. Well, a good little indication of if they are f flyless flies, if their wings are curled up. I fed one time to my Mesobarbus colony where you can really see that with my macro lens that their wings are curled up and they can't fly. So that's a clear indication that they don't, they are not able to fly. Um, but uh, that's too sad. <laughs> I was I was pretty scared that night. My voice is dying again. <coughs> But yeah, I was really scared as well that they would fly out back then, but they didn't. Uh, they just died. Uh, what do we have? Do you speak? Can you speak Danish and translate? Oh well, we have had some fun with that already. Ants Atlanta. Uh, we had a little fun talk on Discord a while back. Not that while back, last week or something. But yeah, I can got tell it dansk. And that's all I know. That's just that. That's all I know. What I was just saying was yes, I can speak Danish. Hvis vi skal have nogle lidt mere komplicerede ord. Øhm, så min varme måtte varme lige nu. Er faktisk, min varme måtte lige nu slukket. Øhm, fordi at jeg ved ikke helt hvad jeg skal gøre med den. And what I said there was. My heat mat. I have a heat mat and it's currently turned off. And I don't know what to say about that. Because I can't improvise that good. Why is. Um, uh, what happened to. Well. Uh, why is she moving out? Well, it was always the plan for our roommate to move in, live here for half a year and then move out and our my girlfriend's best friend would move in. But I don't know if the plans are currently on hold. I don't know. They, they'll they figure that out themselves. No matter what, if she moves out and her friend doesn't move in, I have my studio, which is this right here, and then I will have a dedicated ant room. So this studio will be a sleeping slash studio room. And I'll have an enormous ant room just for ants. So yeah, I, I uh, yeah, it'll be uh, very fun to do that if she moves out and the other one doesn't move in. Dululut, can we have some water? Is this water enough for you? It almost tastes like water. Um, I think the queen of my old miss. Oh, three. How, um, Pyro, if you think your queen is dead, how, how can you think that? Just, just curious, how can you think that? I think that's pretty much a know it or none know it. I don't know. <laughs> Do you have a Discord? You, you have a Discord. Well, I don't have a server, but I do have a profile. Um, but the chat with Ants Atlanta was just on Ants Britannia server. I have wanted to make a server just because everyone tells me to do a server and I think it's pretty shouldn't take more than an hour or two hours to set it up. And I know I mean it will be great to have a server, but the problem is just I don't want people in there just being not to say kids, but I can see in a lot of my other other servers that I'm in that people just are noisy and I don't mean that as a a bad thing. It's just if I whenever if they are discussing or saying swear words and other just bullying each other, I just think that I need to have someone to be in charge of that, and I just don't have the time to be in there. So for now, yeah, I don't. I know you can make mods for that and all that, and just you can go on forever with Discord. Um, but for now, I think that's the main problem to why I don't want to do it. I saw a video if how you set up if they spam or if they say swear words and I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure that you have to write, type in the exact square word, swear, swear, swear word that will be detected as a bad thing 
and that seemed like a lot of work and for me I'm just I'm not lazy but I just I have other priorities yeah much moderator and that's also the thing uh, people mo many people just have uh, admin for the server that helps and uh, yeah and an employee and yeah, if you have, uh, uh, if anyone, you, I, I, I don't know, because I don't just want to ask somebody, hey, will you, will you help me keep control of my server um, without getting anything for it? I just think that's a little bit sad. I don't know. Yeah, you need admins. That's pretty much the thing. So for right now, unless there's like 10 people just asking me, hey, I will be your admin. Um, for now, that plan is just currently on hold because I don't know. That's that's why. Um, bloop, I think everybody's just talking about Discord right now. Um, for right now, we have 13 people watching. So hello to everybody. Um, we have been doing this stream for half an hour. I, I, yeah, over there I had a counter. I just couldn't see it. But yeah, 30 minutes already flown away very fast. What are your plans for 2021? Thanks for the question and adventure. And of course, you had an idea. You were, you were the guy with the very nice build, right? You have one channel, you have one video on your channel and that's just an amazing build. I'm pretty sure it would be awkward if you weren't that guy. Uh, well, I talked a little about, about that before, but I don't know, my plans are just improving my videos, um, improving my audio quality and just in general, just improving everything. Uh, I, I know whenever I'm finishing my videos, why is person asking about can you see that? <laughs> oh damn, I didn't know you could see that. I was just... Uh... <laughs> oh damn, it was just because, um, I don't know, I had a cold, not a cold, but I had... My nose was running when I was in school. I had online education thing, so that's why I just had it for my nose. Um, but yeah, my plans... And wise, if we don't talk about the YouTube channel, the YouTube channel is just making it better, improving my quality. But and keeping wise, I'm looking to get a Fidoli Paladilia uh, colony. I think that's a well called a Fidoli colony, which are very small ants, but people really want me to keep them, and they are very nice because they have this. I don't know they are really known to their big hits. I know probably all of you out there know who they are. Um, if you don't, they are very small ants with some very large majors where the head is just ginormous. And uh, I think I'll get one of those colonies. Maybe a Mesobarbarous colony. Maybe. Um, I don't know. Maybe. My list right now is Mesobarbarous because they're so, so amazing. And I just regret how bad I kept my first colony. And then a uh, Fidoli Fallodilia. And then maybe a Formica Fusca when the queens fly in the summer. Uh, and that's pretty much the colony. And maybe I need to a drink again. But that's basically the colonies that I'm pretty sure that I'll get. It really depends. If I get a larger ant room, I'll get a lot more colonies, of course. Um, and if I don't get a larger ant colony or an ant room, I won't get as many colonies. I don't know where the question is, but all the way up here, Ant Jazz, what's your opinion about Ant Canada? Um, just wanna ask, lol. Uh, I forgot about the question, but I remembered it again, because it's really a weird question. Oh, you're back again, Tygo. Well, hello. You've got a very nice ceremony. ceremony? I said goodbye to you very personally uh, early in the stream, but ants can. <clears throat> Damn. Um, but my. But my thoughts about ants can are very. I don't know. I feel like more and more. Of course, he has three million subscribers, so he's really good at keeping getting people to like ants, and that's of course a good thing because I think he is the main reason that ant communities exist today. I think without Ants Canada, Ants Ants Australia, who are the two largest ant keepers, I don't think that smaller but still large ant colonies, ant keeping, ant keepers like Ants Scandinavia and all of these P 
people with around 10,000 to 30,000 subscribers would exist. And I'm not saying they won't exist, but I just think due to Canada and, and Australia and existing, that's why we have a good community. Though I think like many other ant keepers, you join the hobby through Ants Canada and Ants Australia. Then you watch a lot of Ants Australia and a lot of Ants Canada realizes that Ants Australia makes amazing videos, but doesn't upload that often. And then you go over to Ants Canada because he's uploading a lot and he's a very nice guy. And I don't know, in my eyes, he's not that great anymore. I don't know, I have a lot of... I really hated him at one point just because he's called Ants Canada and he could make a whole video about fishes. And it's not because I hate him, but I just... He has some amazing colonies and it's amazing watching his colonies. But he is very good at just saying, next time we'll look at this. And just kind of dragging it out. I remember he, uh, he did this really new nice avatar for Macarium, which turned out... I mean, it turned out good, but I was expecting a little bit more, I think. I don't know. It's, it's a nice form of carrying for his fire ants. But when I, when I saw it, I was so amazed by like, damn, this will be so amazing. And it took, I think, three months before the first video and the last video came out where they actually moved in. And then out of nothing, I saw, hey, he's making the video. Went on it and he was talking about the fishes that are going to live in the form carrium. And the different aquatic life. And I don't know, for me, he is kind of turned into a money-making machine. I am currently working on a YouTube um, tips and tricks from YouTubers and I tried to contact him just because why not? Uh, he's a nice guy and he makes some good videos. So I thought I would contact him uh, and I got an email or I got a message back saying contact this email. I said, fine, I'll, I'll do that. Contacted that email. I got a message back saying that we will respond to you. That was three weeks ago. And I just think that's, I know he has 300 subscribers, 300, 3 million subscribers, and he will never talk to people like me with 400. But I don't know, he just seems like kind of more, I don't know, I know his videos are looking at the ants, but back when I initially found him, he made DIYs and he made tutorials and it's just not the same guy today so yeah i think that's just how it is uh, you he's have he's has he has this big firm now and canada and shop and books and all these things and he's great for the community because he gets people into the community but he isn't the best youtuber in my eyes anymore so yeah so my girlfriend has been talking a little bit that i need to shave yeah i guess i do i don't know um but what do else would i would like one money making machine yeah okay whole flower yeah as dion says he makes a big show out of it and i i guess that's okay but most of the episodes just seems like they are more more on the show than on the ants it's just kind of a reality tv now and that's just yeah clickbait too so yeah who's the best youtuber then well of course uh, <laughs> well uh, i think my favorite youtuber and youtuber i don't know which my favorite normal youtuber is i have so many it's just all different categories so i have millions i uh, not million i have 30 favorite youtubers i think uh what's your opinion on ants atlanta uh you're a great guy talking with and then I answered your question. No, I'm kidding. Um, but back to um, my favorite YouTuber is definitely Ants Australia, just because he makes such an amazing videos with his documentaries. It is a bit sad that he doesn't upload more than he does, but I mean, that is how it is. Also, people like Ants Vienna is such an amazing builder, and it's really nice watching his builds. And every time I watch his build, I'm not just like, I want to do the same thing, but I just can't. So, yeah, um, so I think my top three is definitely Ants Australia, Ants Scandinavia, who doesn't upload that much anymore, sadly. I had to talk to him a little bit about, I talked with him on Instagram not that long ago. A funny guy, um, but 
I don't know. My, my top three is definitely Ants Australia and Scandinavia. And the third, I, I don't know. Um, what's your... Mm-hmm, let's read a little bit about... I've always thought that you were living in Germany. I don't know why everybody thinks that. <laughs> I have gotten so many, many messages, and I don't mean so many, but I think at least over a half year I have had, I don't know, 30 people ask me to speak German. I don't know any words in Germany. I think I know a few words, but I can't say a single sentence. So yeah, I, I don't know, I'm Danish. Even on my Instagram, I have hidden a little Danish flag in my bio that you have to read more to look. Uh, I'm here. That's good, Daniel. Hello. Welcome to the stream. We have 13 people right now, so that's very nice. And Australia, yeah, he doesn't upload a lot. Yeah. Um, to look, what do we have? Do you watch Not Against? Yes, of course. Uh, not of course, but yes, I watch his videos. I've always been a big fan of his vivariums and I think he's one of the main reasons that I have a formicarium today with my Myrmicaruba species inside. I did get my Myrmicaruba colony inside my formicarium before he got his Myrmicaruba colony in, in his multi-species formicarium. But I mean, he, I've always been a big fan, but once again, kind of like Ants Scandinavia, he doesn't upload that much. Hello, Colonias and, and the Colonias. You made it? Yep. Yeah. Still a lot of talk, uh, hopefully. German like accent. I like accent. I don't know. Uh, I'm, maybe, maybe. I don't know the German accent style, so that's maybe correct. Again, to all of those who didn't hear this the three times I said it, this right here is where I have my chat, so that's why I'm looking down there. Can I, can I, can I get it up? Maybe I can get a little bit up. Aha! Now I'm looking a little. Now I'm looking a little bit more in the camera. <laughs> so, um, how fluffer? I can speak Polish. And uh, just a little bit of talk in the comments. I love that. Um, I made it enough signal to watch on the app. Oh, that's too sad. Uh, what do we have? Speak Danish on live and Atlanta. Okay, didn't didn't you hear it the first time? I. Jeg talte dansk lige før, man. Hvorfor lytter du ikke til mig? Det er en idiot. Nej. Uh, I talked uh, to translate. I talked Danish before. You. Man. <laughs> yeah, I already did. Thanks for pointing it out. The weird Finnish guy is out with some Finnish words. Uh, um, that's, uh, I don't know if you watch TikTok, anybody out there. I think... Uh, uh, we, yeah, I love you too, Huffle Fluffer. Uh, he wrote in Danish that we love you. Mm, and Holofer. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm losing a little bit. Um, what was that I'm about to say? Yeah, yeah. Have you ever watched TikTok, everybody? I think everybody has watched a little bit of TikTok. I love the comparison between all the Scandinavian, con can Scandinavian countries Denmark, Sweden, Norway. Because it's always like the same word, the same word, the same word. A little bit of with different accent. Then Finland comes in. It has a crazy word for everything. And I'm sure it's just a few words that's like that. But it's it's always funny seeing that. Um, what motivates you to keep uploading frequency? I have trouble finishing my second video. Well, Ant's Adventure. Um, I don't know, actually. I don't know. I, I just like making videos. If you watch, I have I haven't deleted a single video. I have hidden some of my uh, video that doesn't matter. But if you watch my old videos, I also did some very newbie videos where I talked. Um, but I think my main motivation is that I know that people are watching the stream and watching my YouTube channel. One thing is going into st 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 statistics, but another thing is just getting the response in the comments. And I think I, I, I'm really happy whenever a video is doing good. I'm really happy because I worked hard on it and people are watching it. And I, I don't care if it's 10 people who are watching it or a thousand people that are watching it. I'm, I just, I, I love seeing people uh, respond in the comments and watch my videos. Um, so I, I, I think my motivation is just that I have a community, not a community community, but I have people watching. And I think that's my motivation. 
because I want to make high quality videos for you guys. And therefore, like the stream yesterday was so bad that I had to delete it. I just feel like I wouldn't let you guys down because I wanted people to watch the video and the stream. So I think my main motivation is just, I don't know. <laughs> it's quite hard because when I initially started YouTube last year or back into 2018, where I started my first end videos that were very bad, still up on the channel, I lost my motivation as well. And when my colony grew large, and moved into the formicarium. I want to do a video on them, but I again didn't have the motivation. And when I started ant keeping in 2019 for real, I just I was so sad that I didn't record my first colony growing and exploring and how they were. And I think my biggest motivation, except for you guys out there, is just for me to watch my colonies in the future. Because whenever I'm I like the laziest night you experiment already now, you can see a lot of difference from episode one to episode five. And think when we hit episode 10, for me, it's just a great journey to watch all the episodes and just rethink everything that happened and think this is my videos. And that's also a thing I talked a little bit about in my year review that I make that good quality in my head. So when I rewatch some of my old videos, I'm still thinking like I improve, <laughs> I, I can prove I can improve I like the videos that I made like half a year ago so yeah the colonius what did he said as an advice great advice that that what motivates me when damn I can't read um when people say they enjoy the episode it makes me want to do another episode scripting 110% helped me I'm just starting my episode uh, only just started yeah he may uh, if you don't know the colonius go check him out he makes some great videos though you don't upload that frequently ah, i'm kidding you upload more than most youtubers uh no i would love to get some better pictures of your acro mermix colony just because I i'd like to see a better uh, uh more i don't know I, I like detailed videos for some reason um what do we have what your future what future video are you the most excited about? Well, right now I have two videos lined up and a third in the making. No, that's not true. I have, you know, yeah, that's uh, that is true. And just moved my from my Campanotus Floridanus into a new colony. It's, <laughs> I just moved my Campanotus Floridanus into a new nest. Um, and I really, I can't wait to see how people respond to that video with my first Campanotus Floridanus video, I was kind of expecting a lot of attention to it, but it just completely blew up and right now it has almost 300 views and more than 1400 minutes watched. So I'm really hyped up for doing my next video, though if it ain't pub if it isn't Pablo, I I'm not gonna be sad, but I I'm, I don't know, I'm that's probably the video I'm most hyped about. I'm also pretty hyped because I am trying to do a little DIY tree nest built. Uh, I'm just going to start recording that tomorrow, hopefully. And hopefully that will be a nice video. Uh, so I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm really excited for doing that part. Let's go back to the comments a little bit. Also, did you change your name? And... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a weird... Uh, that threw me off as well. What are you doing for New Year's? I don't know. Uh, I think I'm with my girlfriend's brother, if I'm not too wrong. Uh, what's your favorite species of ant? Uh, thanks for the question. Um, me and ants. I think my favorite species is uh, leaf cutter. The favorite species I keep is probably I don't know my. I, whenever I record a video about my ants, that becomes my new favorite species because I love just staring at them for the hours while making the video and recording and everything. So right now I'm just making my Campanotus Floridanus video and that's why they are probably my favorite species right now. But last month when I recorded my Mimicaruba episode, I really got back into looking at them and therefore they became my favorite species. I, I don't know, I love all my ants. But the species I'm most excited for is my Acromermix octoposus colony, which is currently delayed due to COVID. Um, so that's probably the species I'm looking the most forward into getting. Uh, reading a little bit again. 
Uh, I really want to get Acromobix Visor Color Color. I don't know what that species is, but it sounds like a leaf cutter as well, so I understand that. And Colonius is here. Yes, he is the weird Finnish guy. No, I gotta go. Oh, that's too sad. And it's UK. Um, hope you're calling. I don't know, you're probably left now, but hope you're camping notice. Her Colonius colony grows well. It'll be exciting to compare your colony to my colony during next year. He has the same age camping notice her Colonius colony. So it'll be fun to look at that. What's the rarest ant species? No idea, Hover Fluffer. But I think my favorite rare species I know is the Dracula ant con ant. They are very weird um, because they live by sucking blood of their young. So when a queen lays eggs, I don't know how it works when they start, but when the first worker arrives, it will go out, hunt for food. It can't eat the food themselves, so they will bring back the food and give it to the larvae. And the lava will then eat the food and the colonies workers will then suck the blood of the larvae and the cocoons i mean they will suck the blood of their young to feed themselves so i think that's a really weird colony and probably also very rare uh, i'm getting a little i'm getting a little bit of lose of time in the i'm getting back in the what am i saying i'm getting behind the comments what kind of from carrying should i design next I don't know, your last from Carrium and, and Adventure was really great and really impressive. It was all, all in one from Carrium and I don't know what you can do next. My dreams have always to be built that... I've always wanted to build that kind of from Carrium. I just don't have the colony for it yet, so hopefully it'll come in the future. The most expensive of Fluffer. It really depends on where in the world you are. If I, will, if I were to buy an Australian ant species, I would very really easy I would very easily have to pay upwards of 200 euros and in Australia they are probably very cheap not not cheap cheap but I think you can get them pretty cheap down there so it really depends on where you are in the world I got three new ant species Mammic Aruba, Terrarium Salvella and Fidoli Falopelia very nice I would like a Fidoli as well uh, hopefully next year and Colonius has talked a little bit about his upload schedule. I think I'll try to upload my new documentary series created to help with more frequent on two weeks away. And time to go home to my two year old daughter and new bonsai. Okay, well, Ants and the Colonialist, I think you have a good reason not to upload as much if you have a two year old and a newborn. So sorry for making fun of you. <laughs> um, my Wi-Fi just connected, committed suicide. Well, I'm very sorry to hear. My Wi-Fi hopefully haven't done it. Um, I've seen a formic, one to two meter formic roof and nest. Yeah, in my local wood, I have a, um, I have a pine. I don't know, I have a, a what's it called? <laughs> I have a local formic roof and nest as well. It's only about four kilometers away, so it's not really local, but I will. I drive over to them and looking at them a little bit and it's also around probably this high I think uh, around one and a half meter high and just 10 meters around you can just see all over the ground that they are walking on there the ground so that's a really really nice colony as well goodbye whole fluffer like all the other people that has said goodbye I'm probably too late so you have left already it's been a pleasure having you brother uh, let's talk a little bit about let's talk a little bit soon again um do you follow most of your youtubers of your subscribers that wait do you follow most of the subscribers that post about ants um yeah i follow pretty many of uh, almost all of you guys um though i don't have time to see all of your videos so i really i don't see enough ant videos in my eyes um I don't know. I feel like I have a lot of time, but I'm not using it that wisely. So I don't really watch that much and YouTube at the moment, but that's just how it is. Um, what do you think of my and ethics video? <laughs> it definitely rings a bell. I can't. I'm, I'm very sorry. I can't remember that. It just rings a bell. 
yeah, well, well, yeah. So sorry for that. Um, I can't remember. I, you, you, you make. Are you the channel ants and antics or or just a video? Because if you're just one video, I don't think I've seen it. But if you're a channel, I like your channel. Um, um, bye guys. Okay, well, we also lost Ant's adventure, so sad, sad to see you go as well. Uh, I'll just read down all the way down to the bottom. Now I am once again with all of you. Yeah, it's a channel. Okay, well, I like the channel, um, and I see it whenever you upload. If you are the creator, um, so yeah, I I like it. Damn, 55 minutes into the stream and I am starting to get a little bit tired, though I don't think I'll end just yet. Um, uh, I'm not Nate, this is. All right, so talk about your shirt. Ah, thanks to my lovely girlfriend. So this is, uh, this is uh, pretty weird. So normally when I do my laundry, I just throw my top my clothes on top of the old clothes and therefore I kind of reuse the same clothes in my a lot of my everyday life and in my everyday life I do YouTube. So this shirt right here is almost in half of all my YouTube videos. I don't know, to me it's kind of a little meme in my head because I feel like every time as well today or tomorrow I'll do another intro and outro to my Formica, to my Campanotus Floridanus colony and once again I'll wear this shirt so <laughs> I don't know it's just a very weird coincidence that I always have this shirt on what would you choose between one ant colony slash species that I don't know or another you can get one of them from ants dairy currently that's got my well, got my queen, and she has her first workers. Well, congratulations to you and your first workers. Hello, ants, city ants. Uh, weren't you here earlier, or am I remembering yesterday? I don't know, but hello to you. Um, Pyro, I don't know the species. Wait, uh, are they the bull ants? No, they're not. That's Mimesia. I don't know. Sorry, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, yesterday. Okay. Well, hello once again today. I'm sorry that you are a bit late to the stream because it is getting closer and closer to ending. I'd like to hit the one mark hour just because then I can say I've made one hour video. Um, they are meat ants. Okay, well, I don't currently know the species, but so I can't really be choose between them. But definitely the one ants David has because if he has the ants, uh, it's a pretty cool ant, I guess. And to my girlfriend who's asking meat ants, it's just the species, no trail ants. Oh, okay. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's. Is there any questions you have for me, or should I just talk a little bit about my weird and very short notes I have? Um, and Atlanta, when you get a late from your camper notice, can you send me some uh, there? To my native yeah they're native in your states well i think there'll be a lot of time before they will produce elites since they're only currently four workers and once again i don't quite know how you can ship from one border to the other and i just know if it gets very bad uh, if somebody finds out that you are shipping species illegally you can get a very big a fee so I am sorry I just don't see that in the near future but once again my colony has four workers so I think there will be at least two years before my first dates unless they grow as fast as people think they grow because a lot of people are saying they grow a really fast Campanotus Floridanus but I don't know if they grow fast for Campanotus species or fast in general because a Campanotus species doesn't go grow fast Matthew I love saying that name in English. Matthew. What does your girlfriend think of your hobby? Does she help you out in the feeding and other care? Well, she loves hearing uh, when I talk about ants. I have I have a little bit of autistic um, 
I can be a little bit autistic sometimes and I have a little bit of the diagnose, just, just not really have them, not have it. But I can talk a lot about it. And she loves when I kind of flips out and talks about it, even though I can see everybody around the table don't really care when I'm flipping out and talking about ants. Uh, she loves that, but I have been I'm becoming better and better not to just keep rambling on about nothing with ants for people that don't have ants. So, yeah, she likes the hobby, um, though she's a bit scared that some of my colonies will escape. Uh, and she does not help me with the care of the colonies, not currently at least. She is in here talking with me sometimes, uh, and we are having fun talking about the ants, but she's not really helping. Mostly because half of the things you do with ant is killing mealworms uh, in the, I don't know, the cleaning side, and she doesn't like killing animals, so therefore, yeah. Um, what do you post on your <laughs> YouTube channel? Uh, yeah, she doesn't post any videos, she just posts to school videos um your campanos will grow fast i got a colony um and they're booming fast so matthew are they booming fast compared to other campanotus colonies or are they booming fast yes i'm still alive aesthetic ants yes today it didn't end up like yesterday um but are they growing fast compared to other campanotus or just in my general to general ant colonies that's the question because are they growing as fast as Lacius Niger, or are they growing faster than Campanotus? Yeah. Uh, do you have plan for the summer? So, to my lovely girlfriend, I don't think you watched the early parts of the stream because I talked about my summer plans, aka my roommate maybe moving out. <clears throat> Sorry for that. And if she's moving out, then I'll get a ginormous room for my ants so yeah and they grow fast for a camp and notice fairly fast okay thanks for clearing that up city ants um for now they haven't had the best start i had five cocoons waiting for me when i initially unboxed them and they ate four of them due to stress and just i don't know they weren't that happy but now they're in a nest and hopefully they'll start to grow like an ant colony should grow okay some other i'm going to catch queens are you trying to flirt with my girlfriend and atlanta i'm very mad now uh just kidding uh i mean like vacation okay well i have no plans for my vacation summer vacations um just mainly due to covid but i would like to I, for the longest time, wanted to kind of go over to different ant shops and different ant was like, take a trip to ants, Scandinavia, take a trip, take a, sh take a trip to Nordic ants, just go around. Yeah, God damn it, ants Atlanta, you're fucking flat now. <laughs> um, no, no, that wasn't a swear word, but I have summer plans in my vacation wise. I don't really have any currently just due to COVID, but I would love to go to different YouTubers and talk with them and do interviews with them and kind of do behind the scenes videos in like their studios because I like, I don't know, that's something I like doing because I really like doing behind the scenes videos of other things. So I'd love to go over to Extending Ants and look at his style and how he keeps ants. No, he doesn't want to show his face. He's been very clear about that in his last stream. Um, but yeah, currently no summer plans. Need a little drink again to make my throat easier with, to talk with. So Matthew, oh yeah, fastest colony I have at the moment. Definitely faster than my other five colonies species of Campanotus, these Campanotus. These are Campanotus Nico, fast growing. These and Campanotus. Okay, well, I don't know Campanotus Nico. If that's a short, I don't know them, sorry. But, well, I can't wait to see them start growing because right now they're just still recovering, it feels like. Um, just because 
I don't know, they moved into their new nest and I think they are for now. Now they're really starting to live their life like they should with the proper heating and all of that. Oh, Nico Berenzis, yeah, of course. Um, yeah, they are really fast growing as well. I, I have heard of that a little bit. Thanks for clearing that up. Um, lit. What's your religion status, Aunt Oliver? I th if I read that correctly, you're asking to like, if I believe in stuff and to all of you believers out there, I don't really believe in anything God related and stuff like that. Um, I have nothing against people that are believers because believe what you want to believe. Um, but personally, I don't know, I believe in science, but ghost wise, I believe that there is something between just, I think there's something ghost related, not that I believe directly in ghosts, but I think ghost kind of exists. Um, and that's kind of the weird things I believe in. Um, yeah. Caminotus, Nico Berenzas are awesome. Yeah, they are. If you want to hear a little bit of a fun story um, with my talk between me and Nino Tudo, Nino Tudo is the fantastic viewer that provided me with my colony, my camera notice for Dana's colony, and she reached out to me and asked if I would like to get this colony. And we talked a little about the colony and the species, and I t said that I've always wanted this species because it's such an amazing species. But I, I was something I didn't understand because she said that you would be one of the only YouTubers that had a, that had that colony. But whenever I went on to Google and searched the Campanotus Nicobarensis, there was a lot of people having that colony. Ants, Vienna, ants, ants Vienna, and all the kind of big, small YouTubers have them. But then, then that's when I noticed that she wasn't talking about Nicobarensis, and I had misread her message. So I had basically just said to her. I really want that species, um, but that wasn't what she was <laughs> giving me. Though these Campanotus for Dinos are amazing, and I'm really glad that she got them for me. And they are amazing to watch, and I hope they grow as fast as everybody is saying. Uh, so what are we... Sh uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Wait, how do we believe in ghosts, but not in a god? Um, I don't know, it's weird for me to say I believe in ghosts because I don't believe in ghost ghost like I don't know. I just for me it's very hard to believe in God because I don't know I th the thing about you praying for a man or something. I've never really read into any religion, so that might be why I don't believe in it. Um but the whole thought of there's a man and stuff like that helping you, I don't really know that. And the thing that you're praying to a god. I don't know, I think you can pray to... I think I'm more like praying to the world and to the luck and stuff like that than praying to a religion. I don't know. I don't know. I'm I, I'm not really good at talking about that. But the thing about ghosts is through my life, I've had a lot of things that are kind of correlated with ghosty stuff. Like in my old house, I had a lot of weird things happening. And also in this studio right here, a uh, thing that happened not that long ago was when I was recording an intro, I was standing like this and recording and everything was nice. But then I went over and watched my video and when I was about to edit it, suddenly out of nowhere, my video file uh, didn't work, my audio file didn't work and my audio for my microphone didn't work. They all simultaneously failed at the exact same time. Um, by being very loud. So I was sitting with my headphones on, I was listening. It was quite hard hearing what I was saying, though it was turned high on the editing program. So it was the perfect, pretty much the perfect height for me. Like loudness, uh, height is definitely, I don't think that's how you say it correctly. Um, but then suddenly every all the files crashed and I don't know, stuff like that just creeped me out because I don't believe in ghosts like that, but I believe in spirits i think things like that but for me it's pretty awkward to talk about because i don't know so i don't really believe in god like that um but again if i were in a bad situation situation i think i would pray if i was in a dying situation um 
but I think we'll just pray for life and pray for like luck and hopefully we'll survive rather than a god. I don't know. So I have somebody knocking on my door, which I think is my girlfriend. So two seconds. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, the first time when this weird thing happened with everything scratching out and I was pretty weird about that with my editing program and everything just blew up. I couldn't really start the video and it just seemed like everything was just corrupted by some mysterious force. I got, I don't know, very creeped out. So therefore my girlfriend is thinking that I'm creeped out right now. But right now I am high on happiness due to talking with you so she doesn't have to be here and be happy for me so she can leave. And she's still standing at me in the door. Um, so bring your girlfriend in. Well, sh we, we can. The problem is just she's not high enough to stand here in this. I, ca I can bring her in. <laughs> so if we saw my last, so if we saw my last stream, I'm sorry if I'm a bit not that loud now. Just turn the mic like this. So in my last stream, she also were in here um, being pretty awkward, mm. like right now. And I don't know, say, say hello to my girlfriend. Uh, she's a bit old for you, Aunt Atlanta, um, just to say that again. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's my girlfriend right now. Um, we have been together for five years and two months yesterday. Um, and yeah, she is very awkward and I think I'll... No. no. Okay, she'll stay here and give me a little hug. Um, uh, I will still take her from you. Uh, yeah, that's the response for you. Should I get a Formica Fusca or a Formica Rufa Babis? I don't know that colony species, so... You should definitely get the Fusca because that species I know and that's a pretty cool species. And yeah, we have been together. We have been together for a really long time. Uh, we met in school and then continued together with a, a new school. <laughs> oh, it's a joke, answered Lance. Ah, okay, good. Then I'll not kick you out of something tomorrow. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, um, we met in school and she moved in with me and my dad like when we've been together for a year or something one and a half years and then we moved together in my in our original apartment where i started my end career back in 2018 and since then we've been living together us two until two months ago when we moved into this enormous apartment where where i'm living with my new roommate so i'll bring her out of the live stream once again because she is being a little bit awkward but it's been nice having you here I'm hungry and she's hungry I miss you so guys how is your tip video going? thanks for the question exciting ants this time I know how to pronounce your name I don't know if you heard my last stream where I said something like Easter thick ants I, don't, I can't remember Hello once again, Ants UK, you just missed my girlfriend, she was in here. Um, but my tips video is going, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm making this tips video where I'm talking to a different, a lot of different Ant YouTubers, big and small. And we tried to, and I tried to like make all of them make videos and make them before Christmas. And right now I'm still... I don't know, I think I, I, I can say the names because I have everything written down. So if we just go into my notes and what do we have right here? Like, can I find the correct post like this? Yes, no. Two seconds, can I find the correct? Okay, so on my, I'm doing a kind of tips and tips, tips and tricks video with Ant Britannia, KB Ants, Ecstatic Ants, Lights, Camera, Ants. Observing Ants Philippines, My Living World Ants, Indurance Ants Scandinavia, Novo Ants, and they are the 
YouTubers that are in my little video. And currently I have gotten response for half of them, but I'm still missing Ants Britannia, Lights Ants Camera, My Living World Ants and Nova Ants. So I don't know, the video should be out. And right now my deadline in, is the 17th of January, but we'll see about how that will go. So my advice is starting to say goodnight. Um, so if there's any like last video questions you want to ask me, it's right now. Can I talk to Novo? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Try to contact him. I reached out to like 20 YouTubers and half of them responded. So yeah. Um, well, extending ants, your little Christmas video. I was very, very. I wanted to say no as well, but you know, <laughs> uh, I couldn't say no to an offer like singing in an awkward video, which maybe won't be awkward. We won't know before you release your videos. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, to anyone who doesn't know it, Extending Ants is doing a singing a video, <laughs> a singing a Christmas song. So um, ah, thanks for my part is the best. Thank you. But yeah, I think we will end the stream. Um, in the next few minutes so if, is there any last comments you want to ask because else i think it's now because my voice is dead um and i think i'll st of course i have to wait because you're a little bit behind but i think this has been it for this stream so 77 minutes uh yeah dead voice it's it's not that good anymore but at least today we got a stream rather than yesterday where everything failed hopefully things haven't been that bad this day today i think it worked pretty well after yesterday's really bad stream i was about to just quit streaming um because that was just such a horrible and awkward stream but um after the day i am willing to do another stream no it will just be this simple layout because everything went very bad last time look at matthew 24 6 to 8 that bible verse uh, I, I i was saying i should read some of the bible because i hate reading <laughs> I, don't know. I think it's time to end so Thank you everybody for watching. We currently have 13 viewers. And let's see, can I get some stats on this thing right here? Two seconds. Uh, I don't know, chat rate six, current viewers 13. And the highest were 17. So I think it has been a really fun um, stream. And a final challenge before I leave today is that I have to try to pronounce this word. So. It's very clear that this word is Len. <clears throat> you can't you can't text right now because then the chat moves. Definitely Len Taken Sui Hu Kutua I I don't know. I, I hope that isn't a Finnish word because if it is a Finnish word, that's just typical Finns. But yeah, it was fun for and I had a great time. So I'll just end it here. So thanks for everybody who was here. Uh, this simple video. With my simple webcam worked a lot better than it's a real word. I'm sad to hear. I hope you never use it. I hope you won't have to use it. But yeah, it's been a pleasure talking with everybody. GG. Goodbye, everybody. It has been fun. See you. And for my next video, it is a simple non end video, but a build video. But you'll see that on next Sunday. Bye. I have to end the stream so that pretty much ended my little bias thing. I'll try it again. <laughs> Let's just do the proper outro just because I can. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Bye!